What is a school? What do they do? And how do they behave? Hello everyone, my name is Claudius and you're watching Shadow Tell TV. In this video, you will see the answers to these questions and much more. Let's get into it. What is a squirrel? What is that exactly? Well, a squirrel is a small to medium sized rodent of the Scyridae family. With more than 200 species, it is one of the most diverse and distributed families in the mammal order Rodentia. Squirrels have beady black eyes, a bushy tail, and short rounded ears. Squirrels are incredible tree climbers, able to easily traverse the trunks and branches of their arboreal habitats, thanks to their sharp claws, small size, and flexible bodies that climb up, down, and all around trees easily. Additionally, their agile tails help to provide balance and stability while they climb. When climbing down a tree, they will often use their front claws to hold onto a branch or trunk while lowering their body with the help of their back legs. This is done slowly and carefully to ensure their safety. In addition to their ability to climb, squirrels also possess the unique ability to jump from one tree to another. This is possible due to their strong hind legs and flexible bodies. When jumping, they can quickly assess the distance between the two trees and accurately judge the amount of force needed to make the leap. They are also able to run at, at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour, making them one of the fastest animals in the wild. Their secret to their speed lies in their diet. Squirrels are primarily omnivorous, feeding on nuts, seeds, fruits, and fungi. They also eat other animals such as insects, eggs, and small vertebrates such as young birds, lizards, and mice. They even scavenge carrion, though this is not a normal part of their diet. Squirrels will also eat from things that are human-made, such as bird seed from bird feeder feeders, french fries, popcorn, fast food leftovers, and other snacks, usually from trash cans. This diverse and eccentric diet provides them with the energy needed to power their quick and swift movements. Next, squirrels have their big, bushy tail, which has various functions. 1. To provide shade from high temperatures. 2. Using as a parachute. 3. Balancing when climbing, and finally, as a way of communicating with other squirrels. Speaking of communication, squirrels make barking or growling noises to warn other squirrels about predators and dangers, also to intimidate other squirrels when marking their territory, expressing emotions, and to signal mating season or to attract potential mates. In addition to alarm calls, some squirrels use body language to alert others of danger. When it notices a predator, it often freezes or flattens its body against the ground to remain hidden and also to alert others. Squirrels are highly vigilant animals, alerting others of potential danger. Research has shown that other squirrels responding to the alarm call by scurrying away or taking cover in the trees. By making the call, the squirrel can alert other squirrels of the predator without putting itself in harm's way. As squirrels are loved by many, they are also hated by many and devoured by many. Squirrels are preyed upon by a wide variety of animals. Hawks, owls, coyotes, foxes, bobcats, regular cats, snakes, and even larger mammals such as wolves and bears can all be predators of these cute little ninjas. Hawks typically hunt during the day and they will swoop down to catch a squirrel midair. Owls are just like hawks, but they are usually more active during the night. And they will use their sharp talons to grab a squirrel from a tree or other high perch. Coyotes and foxes are both opportunists, so they will take whatever prey they can find, including squirrels. Bobcats and regular cats will also hunt squirrels, especially when other food sources are scarce. Snakes can also be a major predator of squirrels. They will often wait in trees and ambush the squirrels as they pass by. Larger mammals such as wolves and bears may hunt squirrels as well, but this is more common in areas where these predators have a larger population. When looking for a place to live, squirrels take into consideration the availability of food, water, and safety. They particularly enjoy eating nuts, seeds, berries, and fungi, so they look for areas where these foods are most abundant. Squirrels use tree cavities, hollow logs, and abandoned nests as their homes. They build nests out of twigs, leaves, and other materials, which they line with soft materials like fur. They also build nests in the branches of trees. Squirrels have become increasingly adapted to live in urban areas. They are often seen in parks, gardens, ba and backyards where they can find food and shelter. Ground drilling species typically live in burrows or dens, while arboreal species tend to live in holes in trees. In many parts of the world, squirrels are a common sight in parks, gardens, backyards, and sometimes in university campuses like the University of Maryland College Park. 
If you're a student there, you're bound to encounter these little fellas on a frequent basis. Next, mating and reproduction. When it comes to mating and reproducing, squirrels have a rather unique and fascinating process. They typically mate in the spring and autumn, although this can vary depending on the species. During that time, the male squirrel will approach a female and perform a courtship ritual. This typically involves chasing, vocalizing, and sometimes even fighting. If the female is interested, they will begin to reproduce. Females are capable of mating multiple times during the mating season with different partners. When the mating season is over, the female stores the sperm until the egg is fertilized in the fall. This process is called delayed fertilization, which allows the female to mate with multiple partners without having to worry about when the eggs will be fertilized. Once the eggs are fertilized, the female creates a nest in a tree or burrow in the ground. She will then give birth to a litter of 2-8 to eight baby squirrels. The babies stay with their mother until they are ready to be independent, which can be anywhere between 2 and 4 months. As you can see, squirrels have a unique mating and reproductive process. While they may not seem as complex as other animals, they are certainly fascinating creatures. Next, fun facts. Finally, here are some fun facts about squirrels. Squirrels can jump up to 20 feet in a single bound. This is possible because they have powerful legs that can launch them up high and far. 2. Squirrels can rotate their ankles 180 degrees, allowing them to climb down trees head first. 3. Squirrels can live up to 10 years in the wild. 4. Squirrels have two layers of fur to keep them warm in the cold weather. 5. Squirrels are very social and will often live in groups with up to 10 other squirrels. 6. Squirrel is a rendition of the Greek word skiotos. Forgive me if I butchered the Greek there. <laughs> it's formed from two words, skia meaning shadow plus aura equals tail. So squirrel roughly means shadow tail. It was thought that the squirrels in Greece sat with their tails on their backs and over their heads, casting shade on them. I also think it's fitting because they are literal tree ninjas. Finally, squirrels can eat upside down on a tree, which is pretty amazing. I feel like if anyone would do that, like the food would just immediately just come out of them while they try to eat it. But anyways, there you have it. Now you know what squirrels are and what they can do. I hope this video helps you understand these cute little critters a bit more. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Godspeed.